Michigan Out of Doors Magazine's OD is brought to you by Country Smokehouse of Almond, offering the best quality and satisfaction in homemade meats, sausage, and jerky. It's a Michigan destination. Check out the website at countrysmokehouseinc.com. And by Williams Gun Sight. Located in Davison, Williams Gun Sight has mid-Michigan's largest selection of used guns with over 2,000 in stock every day. Check out the website to view inventory and prices. And by The Ultimate Fishing Show, featuring Lake Ultimate, Trout Ponds, Bass, Walleye, and Salmon Clinics, Kevin Van Dam, Babe Winkleman, and more at the Suburban Collection Show Place, January 12th through the 15th. Well, what we've got here is our Maple River Co-op, our Deer Aging Night. This is about the eighth year that we've done this. We bring in 200 plus animals and the DNR supports us with their biologists and their administrative staff come over here to age the jaws of the deer that the local hunters have got. Well, first of all, it allows hunters to come together and trade lies, you know, which you need that venue to do that at least once a year. Um, but it started out as a, a way for us to promote harvesting antlerless animals. That's the way it first started out. As you know, this is a farm country. We do have issues with crop damage. And if we wanted to come up with a device that would help trophyize our does and get people to focus on shooting does. And as you know, does do not have antlers, so there's no metric there. So we determined to get them to pay for the heaviest doe and for the oldest does. And the only way to determine the oldest doe is cut the jaw out and bring it over here and have the biologist tell us. And that has boosted our antlerless harvest and uh, um, you can see also it works with our QDM goals, our quality deer goals. So uh, we've got marvelous animals as you can see here in the, tonight. Well, I killed him in Eaton County in the Vermontville area in our local deer management cooperative. Uh, I believe I saw him one time in September, but the neighbor got a couple of deer cam pictures of him. Came back a day early fr from Ohio to bow hunt the day before our gun opener. And at 9 o'clock in the morning on the 14th, this buck came along and uh, uh, the planets had to align. I, I shot him at 45 yards, which is typically not my uh, comfort zone, but due to a trip I'm taking in September uh, to the out west, I've been practicing at 50 yards, so I was very confident and uh, fortunate enough to drop him in his tracks. And uh, he growth scores 140 and 48 tonight. Uh, as a mainframe eight point, and uh, he's my best buck to date with, a, with archery equipment. I've got a couple bigger with gun, but uh, probably my most memorable hunt. My best friend, my brother-in-law, was with me when I killed him and watched the whole thing unfold. We're doing here tonight is just coming and see what the hoorah is all about. Do my master's thesis on deer co-ops here in southern Michigan, uh, particularly the QDMA ones. Uh, they have a very strong presence in southern Michigan, and we're trying to understand what's going on. Um, we are seeing that there are uh, is a pretty significant difference as far as doe harvest compared to the typical hunter in Michigan. Um, they really have a, a strong emphasis on harvesting more does, um, and especially, of course, with QDMA letting the younger bucks walk. So we are seeing um, there are some people that will take a significant amount of does, some that may not take any, uh, but overall that's one of the biggest differences we're seeing.